this medium of the word. John chapter 1 verse, verse 1 to 3. It says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the same was in the beginning with God. Important thing here is to notice that the word is God. Do you see that? Okay, let me explain why. This word, word, is important. Uh, it's the word logos, L-O-G-O-S. Write it down. The word there for the word is the word logos. The Hebrew word and the Greek word here that is translated in the Hebrew and the Greek for logos, it actually means this. It means expression of a thought. Write it down, please. Logos means what? Expression of a thought. Come on, I want you to be smart now, young people. Get this and understand it. The word logos means what? Expression of a thought. So if you were to read that verse and use the literal meaning, it'll sound like this. In the beginning was the expression of God's thoughts. And God's thoughts was God. And God was his thoughts. All things were made by the thoughts of God that were expressed. Verse 14, and the thoughts of God became flesh and dwelt among us in a body. <laughs> so, why is that important? Let's understand. Words are thoughts, containers. When you speak a word, it takes your thoughts away from your mind and it gives you a vehicle to use to transmit your thoughts and therefore it's the most powerful media on earth. When I give you a word, you just got one of my thoughts. Thoughts are invisible. But when you speak, they become audible. And therefore, I cannot know what you think until you talk. What is a thought? A thought is a silent word. What is a word? An expressed thought. What is a thought? Your thought is your idea, your concept. What is your word? Your expressed concept. So when you speak to me, you are giving me what's in your heart. Write this down. Words control thoughts and create life. So you got to be careful who you listen to because they are giving you their mind. Now there's a statement we make in the Bahamas that's very serious but we don't think it is. And that is, we use this term, I'm going to give you peace of my mind. That is literally true. When people talk to you, <laughs> they are giving you a peace of their minds. And if you listen to them and receive it, You've just added their mind to yours. Take heed what you hear. The media, therefore, is the most powerful force on earth because it transmits ideas. Let's talk about words for a minute. Hebrews 1 verse 3 says, The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being. He sustains all things by what? His powerful word. Not only did the word create everything, but it holds everything together. John 1, 3. Through him all things were made, and without him was nothing made that is made. The word produced everything. God sent the medium of the word to save the world. Isn't that amazing? He sent the medium to save the world. This is interesting. We got the world going to hell. We got God in heaven. And God wants to save him. What did he do? He said someone in the middle. Come on, you all talk to me. So who's the most important part of salvation? The medium, which is Christ. God loves us. We disappointed him. How does he communicate his love? He sends a medium. For God so loved the world that he gave his medium. Jesus Christ is God's media. And he brings what? Listen to Jesus now. Oh, listen to me, folks. Last night I almost exploded. Jesus said this. He said, look, I'm just the media. He says, now look. I only say what I hear my father say. Do you get it? You get it? No, I don't think you get it. He says, look, I can say what I want to say, you know. When you turn that radio on, TV on, CD on, tape player on, or even company on, you got to make sure they are only saying what the Father says. If they are saying something different, you are getting corrupt media. Do you understand how serious this is? 
Now I understand why Jesus kept on saying, I only speak what I hear my father say. I only say what my father told me. He who hears me, hears my father. Why? I have my own will. I could tell you all some things I feel like telling you all. But I only speak what I hear the source say. So that when you listen to me, you hear the Father's voice. We need media that does that in Jesus' mighty name. In the Bahamas. When you write a song, check, make sure it's lined up with the word. Or keep your song in the shower. I don't care how good it sounds. If it ain't what the Father is saying, it's a corrupt song. When you're going to dance, you check your movement to make sure that the movement communicates the glory and the nature of God. So you've got to check it with the Word. It's very critical. Write this down, please. Words determine what the mind and soul receives and therefore determines your destiny. The words are the most important part of your life. Whether they are written, spoken, or read, or heard, or seen, those words are after your soul. They're after your soul. And this is why we must constantly monitor our media. Monitor our media. I saw in the papers recently, uh, you know, when that rapper was coming here to sing, and everybody was concerned, I saw someone wrote an editorial, they said, we got to be careful of censorship. 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 And I'm thinking, okay, all right, censorship. And the Holy Spirit revealed to me how dumb we are. You realize that we would censor marijuana, we would censor cocaine. And all they do is impact the body. We made them illegal. And all they do is destroy the body. That's why your brain goes back, because your, your physical cells get damaged. It's not your mind. It's what it does to the cells that activate the mind. But we make that illegal. But we have no laws that we are looking at profanity. We say we do, but then we let the fella in and tell him don't curse while he's singing. I don't understand that at all. So if we can talk about censorship, let's deal with the real damage. If I hurt you mentally, if I damage you mentally, I got you. I mean, Bob Marley was here once, just once. Bam, finish. They came up from under the rocks now. And we still reeling under that? You just can't say censorship. Censorship. Listen, you got to decide what you want to come into the minds of your nation. The government's job is to preserve the nation. And they should never feel in any way afraid to say, look, this ain't good for our national psyche. I would rather be known in the world as the nation who refused something that is profane. I let them call me discriminatory. That's why they ain't got no nation now. They never discriminated. We're going to discriminate what goes into our souls. I wish above all things that you prosper in tourism, but only as your soul prospers. We got to decide what we want to hear, what we want to see. It's amazing that some of the parents don't know what their kids are watching in the room on the internet. Because they don't understand the internet. Some of you older parents say, yeah, child, he ain't there doing any homework. Homework? Yeah, he doing home at work. You better find out about the internet. Find out how it works and put locks on your, your internet surfing so you can know how to monitor what your children hear and see. And some of you old younger people, you have the word of God in your heart. 
You're supposed to know what to do and what not to do now. Write this down, please. Very important. The key to media is the use of waves. Oh, boy. We're getting into deep stuff now. Winding down. Watch this. Everybody say waves. Say it loud. One more time. Everybody say it. I can't hear you. A little louder. Shake the roof. Now we're here. This is the most important part to write down. The key to media is the use of waves. The airwaves or the air is the source of all waves. The air. There are five types of waves. Write them down. One, you got airwaves, you got radio waves, you got televisual waves, you got brain waves, and you got gamma rays. Gamma rays are waves that the sun uses, the electrons in the air. Now, I want you to understand this. Waves are the key to influence. Whoever controls the waves, control the nation. Whoever controls the waves, control the nation. Those of you who know anything about history and coups, whenever a coup takes place in the world, in any country, when a group takes over a government, the first thing they want to control is what? The Broadcasting Corporation and the radio. Why? Because they know whoever controls the waves control the nation. Don't take that lightly. How? Tell me how could there be four top rated shows this week that promote homosexuality on your TV in your house? There's a, there has been executive producer somewhere sitting in an office who decides which programs will be produced for the season. There's a guy sitting somewhere and he has a group that he discusses with. And don't tell me that in that whole group, there's got to be an agenda. That's why we cannot sit here and say, well, we don't have the money, we don't have the investment to do this. Listen, if we don't do this, your kids' kids are in trouble. And they're pricing it right out of the church's market. Right out of the church's market. These waves are important. Waves contain the power to carry messages, and they are the power of mediation. Waves are dangerous. Matter of fact, let me show you how dangerous waves are. Whoever controls the air controls the waves. And whoever controls the waves controls what man hears and sees and, and understands, and therefore he controls the man. Whoever controls the waves controls the thoughts of the nation. Whoever controls the waves controls your future and your children. I want to challenge our young people who are going off to school. I want some of you all to go into the media. I'm talking about become playwriters and, and become movie producers. Go ahead and, and, and establish uh, 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 video music schools. I want you to develop stuff. We got to get in there. I'm talking about top class. We got to show the devil the fight is on, brother. Bring it on. And we need some wealthy saints who got millions to build our own production movie studios. I thank God for Matt Crouch, praise God. The Omega Code. He started up Hollywood. I was talking to him last week on the phone. And getting ready to do some other things. He wanted me to get involved in that. But I got so excited. I said, man, we finally got a guy who's thinking outside the box. Producing movies that are not trapped in religion, but they can go into the world and present a message of the kingdom that they cannot argue with quality about. Whoever controls the waves controls the minds of the people. The power of the air. The air is more powerful than the earth. Write that down, please. Say it with me. The air is more powerful than the earth. Say it together. The air is more powerful than the earth. Say it again. The air is more powerful than the earth. Now, I hope you write this down. This is what changed my mind about media. I thought the earth had power. The earth ain't got no power. The power is in the air around the earth. 
As a matter of fact, when Satan was cast out of heaven, listen to me carefully, he refused to live on earth. Some of you think that he lives on earth. The devil does not live on earth. Why? Earth doesn't have any power. When he was cast out of heaven, Satan decided to take up residence where the power was. He wanted to control the power. So he took up residence in the air. Stay with me. Because whoever controls the air controls the entire earth. You're getting it. He wants to rule the air. Well, ain't no power on earth. The power is in the air around the earth. And that is why the air controls the earth. Write this down, please, Ephesians 2. You don't believe me? Let's read it. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in the past in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air. There it is in your Bible. He is the ruler of the air kingdom. The domain of the air is where the power is. And Satan refused to live on earth. Why? Ain't no power on earth. He became the prince of the power of the air. Let's talk about it. Ephesians 2, 14. It says, In which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. Everybody say power of the air. Say it again. Power of the air. It didn't say <laughs> he's the prince of the air. The air got power. What is the power in the air? It's the waves. When you turn your television on, that is a transmitter being able to take the air and convert it into pictures. So someone's controlling the air. When you turn your radio on, it takes the transistor and makes the invisible waves audible. And you can hear them in music and in talk. When you listen to your CD, they are taking the air and turning it into visual sound or musical sound. And it's controlling you. It's all air. And that is why the media is a $10 trillion business. Why? The devil is making sure that that is financed properly. This church needs about $100,000 to equip itself for the media. They pay the guy who runs the camera in Hollywood that salary. That's what you're competing with. Terminator 2. Your kid leave church and go to that movie. Leave church and go to the movies. Two hundred million dollars on one movie to make it. And the church can't put the roof on. Are you listening to me? Now why would the devil make sure That 007 gets $14 million just for signing his name. But your local pastor down the road can't get $1,400 to put a roof on the church. Because this is a wave war. It's a war of the waves. He's the prince of the power of the air. He rules the air. Our singing groups need to produce CDs. Let me just finish this. There's too much in my heart. It says, Who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we also once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath just as others. In other words, all of that mess, it says this, because he is the prince of the power of the air. All the lust, all the corruption. He says, because he's ruling the airwaves, he is corrupting the whole nation, making the whole nation lustful. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. You might not figure this out. This, I finally figured it out. 
Internet hit us five years ago. Guess what? Rates in the Bahamas went up five years ago. Hey. Sodomy five years ago went up. Homosexuality went up five years ago. Why? He's corrupting the whole nation with lust. Let me explain why. Don't, don't miss the last point. Let me explain why. Watch this. This is a verse that, that, that you, you, you just got to get this verse. What do we fight against? That's the question. What do we fight against? What are we fighting? It says in Ephesians 6, put on the full armor of God. Now some of y'all get very spiritual and spooky about this, but it's saying spooky. This is very practical. He says, you're fighting against not flesh and blood. <laughs> put on the whole armor of God so you can stand against what? The schemes of the devil. What's the schemes? His scheme ain't to make you go lie and cheat and all that stuff. He got a deeper scheme than that. Let's read the scheme, the next verse. It says here, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what? Principalities and against powers and against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness where? In the atmosphere. That's what your Bible says. He says, look, the fight is over waves. Now notice the fight against what? Principalities. Let's deal with this before we go. The word principalities is actually the word that means precepts. It means principles. It means laws and ideas. Satan is the prince of the power of the air and his job is to produce principalities through the wicked spirits in the atmosphere. His goal is to let you sit in your house, turn your radio, TV, internet, CD on, and to work on your mind, to create in your mind precepts and principles that are ungodly and they become laws by which you live. That's what the principle is. Guiding light. The young and the restless. Now, every day some of you got appointments with these things. Child, I got to get home on time. Why? I got to get my daily principle. And ain't nobody sleeping with their husband. And by the time you watch it for 10 years, and your husband just does something strange, you start thinking, bang, download comes up, and you start thinking he's like the guy you saw on Young and the Restless. And you start accusing the guy. It's a principle. And your first thought is, well, I'll just get a divorce. Why? That's the way they do it in the principles. We don't understand. It's about principalities. So they got these five gay men, they say, is it five now? Five gay men on TV dressing a straight guy. You all saw that? That's a show now. It's a big show now on cable. Five gay fellas, and the whole show is about them dressing up guys who ain't gay. And I'm sitting there thinking, what's the principle here? You know what the principle is. There's more of us, first of all, than y'all. That's number one. That's the first principle. There's plenty of us and less of y'all. That's the, that's the first principle. Second principle, we, we know more than y'all. We're smarter than y'all. Sissy make you smart. And number three, you should accept us because we can help you. And number four, we ain't bad after all. We ain't misfits, really. Yeah, but you are natural. You can't legislate what my rectum is, you, no matter what you do. But you see, it's the principle. And guess what? Guess who financing that show? You know who financing that show? The gay advertisers. For one minute, they pay $250,000 for 60 seconds to advertise. 30 seconds. Which means that you got her plenty money. Do you sit back and let the prince of darkness rule the air? Or do we decide we're going to put our channel right next to theirs and they're going to be a battle for the air? Can I hear the church say amen? amen. Battle for the air. Uh, 
Here's my final thoughts on this. Our battle is a media battle. It's a battle for the mind. The strongholds are in the mind. Second Corinthians 10 says, For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish what? Strongholds. Where these strongholds are? We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive what? Every what? Thought. To make it what? Obedient to Christ. He says, our fight is over thoughts. The fight is for thoughts. Ideas. Ideas. We don't want to be shouting and dancing and shouting and screaming and our kids go into hell in a handbasket. We got to get in there and change the ideas. That's why we're on television every week. I know it costs a lot of money, but if we get off there, they can put another program on there, and they can be bumping and showing, shaking themselves up. And your kids say, See, you got to decide what's going to be seen and what's going to be heard. That's why I encourage these musicians, you all get busy. Write plenty of songs next year. I want you to get some program. Matter of fact, I, oh God, have mercy. I put a license in for radio stations again. Hope they listen to me this time. Because we need to control as much air as we can. That's what we're fighting against. And we've got to bring those thoughts to what? The obedience of Christ. We've got to make the world hear what he says. Whoever controls the thought of a nation controls the nation. So what do we need? We need to get Logos in the word. It says, faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing by what? The word of God. John 6 says, the spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are spirit. They give you what? Life. John 17, 18 says, I, 8 rather, says, for I gave them the words you gave me and they accepted them. Jesus speaking. I was the right media. He says, I gave them the word that you gave me. Whatever you gave me, I re related properly to them. I'm a, I, am, I am good media. So what do we got to do? Satan's goal is to control the waves so he can control the minds. Satan's stronghold is the air. Any attempt to control the air is a direct attack on Satan's kingdom. Don't forget that. That's why we are in a fight. Satan is not afraid if you build a small church on the corner and put some glass stained windows to there and have a little good time. You know, that don't bother him. But if you ever decide to go on radio and produce records or to go on TV, some of you folks wondering, why is it so tough for me to, to produce a CD? You know, Brother Ken, you guys don't understand. Your pastor telling you why you're having trouble. This message is for you guys. You see, the reason why, listen, the visionaries had so much hell. Because we were fooling with the air, man. We began to attack the airwaves. Try to produce a CD. Every demon wakes up. Try to produce a movie. Oh, Lord, Prince and Principality, sure. Belzy Bob himself will come to you. When you start fooling with the air, you are attacking his very hometown. Why? He is what? The prince of the power of the air. He set up his strongholds in the air. That means his territory. His strong center is in the air. When you start touching the air, you are touching Satan himself. Jimmy Swigert. Boy, the devils, I'm going to get you off. Or Roberts, I'm going to get you off. Tell us, I'm going to get you off. When they say, the minute they go to the air, all kind of gossip, all kind of stuff. I mean, Satan goes, I got to get you off. That's why we got to pray for Paul Crouch. We got to pray for Jan Crouch. We got to pray. These people have done something that the devil is having a fit over. And whether you like them or not, you better pray. Because if they go off, what you going to hear? What you going to see? Matter of fact, think about the alternative. That's why we believe God is going to give us also our own television station to beam from the Bahamas all over the world. We're going to have to have control so we can decide what the people hear and what they see. Anybody with me say amen. Man. amen. Romans 12 too, your favorite scripture, right? Be not conformed what? To this world, but be it transformed how? By the renewing of your mind. In other words, the whole point is to change the thinking back to the original. To teach the ways of God by the tape. We are commanded to occupy until he what? 
comes. He said, don't wait around, wait to be lifted. He said, take over. Oh, Lord, let me go. I'm trying to go home, man. He said, look, don't just sit there and say, don't complain. Take over the place until I come. You ought to shout and praise God, clap loud. <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me talk to you. You, 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 my boy. Listen, light it up. It's only the beginning. God wants you and all the brothers and sisters in here who got gifts like this in the media. He wants you to, listen, aim to take over, not the Christian station, all of them. We got to occupy airwaves and time on all of these stations. That's why I told the government in 1983, I told them, I don't want to go on no Sunday morning. I want Saturday night. Why? I want where the action is. I want to be where the minds need to be changed. You all better say before I go, man. We got, we got to, and Lord have mercy. Some of you got programs in your mind you need to produce. Educational programs you should be putting on 30 minutes. Come talk to us. May we work it out. We got to get stuff in the minds of these kids. Amen. Three o'clock when they come home, garbage on ZNS. We need some saints to start creating some programs to take the waves for our young people and our children. They should be getting positive messages, not all that junk they're getting. I mean, BET is ruling the world. We just can't sit back. May God have mercy on our souls. Yeah? The church must take hold of the air and control the the thought wave. We must clear the air for the final meeting. This is my final word right here. So I'm going to get to this. You know why the air is important? Here's the verse you never thought was in the Bible. Because we got to clear the air. We got to take the air back because there's going to be a meeting in the air. Christ is waiting until we control what Satan is controlling. The only way for us to meet in the air if you got to have space. So read that out loud. Read it out loud. Come on, read it. After that, we who are still alive, and I, we will be caught up together with them to meet him where? <laughs> we'll meet the Lord where? Yeah. Where we can meet him? Yeah. He said, therefore, encourage yourself with these things, he said. We got to clear the air for the meeting. I made a decision years ago. He can have a space over the Bahamas. We can clear this air. All the demon powers, strongholds, principalities. We can come on, close your Bible, lift your hands. I mean, it's to pray in the spirit right now. Just pray. See, we don't fight against flesh and blood. So go ahead and speak out against every thought, every precept that is not of God in the air right now, that's going into our TV screens, on our radio stations, all the foul language in them songs, the corruption in all those sitcoms. Go ahead, lift your hands, and just pray for a second. Matter of fact, stand up on your feet and just pray in tongues for a minute. Come on, just, just five seconds with me. Just pray in the, Holy, in the Holy Ghost to break that barrier over our nation right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, Lana mo kibre ndi riva subrondo robo bo so ramahate rabasha. Oh, kisha mo ne mama se te rama bre bo so to bo. Come on, get those words out of your spirit. Words got power. I curse every spiritual principality. That is influencing the Bahamas right now. I command you to take your hands of the air over our country. Father, we short circuit the programming of our minds by the devil in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we desire to possess the music world. We desire to possess the television waves. We desire to possess the music waves. We desire to possess the publishing waves. We desire to possess the radio waves. We desire to possess, Lord, the teaching waves. We desire to take back what belongs to you, God. The air is your property. 
Oh God. Oh kona muribo shabrasate mureba basate mokashibrasate. Oh Father, give us wisdom to take the internet, to take every web page and use it to communicate your message. Lord, let every business person here see their business as a media through which they share your goodness and your message of the kingdom. Oh God, use every talent, every gift in this building to create new products and new ideas, to share your voice and your main message in the media, Lord. Oh Father, I pray that every stronghold of the devil will be brought down in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. And today, Lord, we surrender ourselves to you to be used as media for you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's touch and agree right now before we dismiss that God will fill this city, this country, this region with kingdom messages everywhere. Jesus said, go into all the world, preach the gospel. And then he said, teaching them the things I taught you. That is what we fill the media with. His principles, his precepts to destroy the precepts of darkness that bind men in lust, hatred, and perversion, corruption. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Speak to our hearts, Father, each one individually. I pray that your message was clear, Lord. I tried to deliver it in words that are so feeble. I pray that they understood me. Lord, I trust that everything you wanted to be said was said clearly in this place today. We must take charge or we'll lose our nation. We'll lose our children. We'll lose our own lives. Father, today, if there be any here today who are still struggling with habits of things that they've downloaded for years, let today be a decision day that they will uproot the corrupt virus that is in their systems. And they will debug it by your anointing and by your power. And they will replace that information with your word from now on. They will read and study and listen to your word. Lord, if there are those here today who have not even surrendered to you, let today be the day of them coming to you to become your representative, your media for the world. You died as a mediator to save them. Let them receive that gift of salvation. Lord, I pray for those here today who have been already working, trying to make a difference. Father, I pray you'd encourage them with this message today to keep working, to keep doing and dreaming and going with their dreams to make a difference in the world, that they may be a blessing and counteract the evil that is in the world. Bless their works, bless their businesses, Lord. Bless their ideas with your presence. Use them to make a difference, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, the word of God says that we are priests, kingdom of priests. A priest is a mediator, one who stands between God and the people. As you leave this place today, you go to work tomorrow. You are his media. Let them see the picture of God on earth through your attitude, your mannerism, your smile, your tender spirit, forgiving spirit. Be open to show people what God is like. I pray that the store that you own will become a media for God. And they come in there, they turn, you turn God on, they see God. The classroom you teach in will become a media 
that the children walk in tomorrow morning and they see God in the class through your word, your attitude, your forgiving spirit, your tenderness. Your office will become a media. Out of all the corruption, they come in your office, they feel safe. There's positive principles here, precepts that you can teach them. Whatever you do tomorrow, even today when you go home to your own family, ask God to make this message real to you. Matter of fact, I don't know. Maybe just get a copy of this tape and listen to it seven times. Download it. Repetition. Get it in your spirit. Let the Lord reveal this to you. The way he did it to me. I am sold on media because it's in my spirit. I understand it. I understand why it's important. Get a copy of this. Do you, those of you in music, may God give you a vision of what this is all about. You know the word muse means to make think interesting word to amuse means to stop thinking music means you control the thoughts of people and that's why musicians are so dangerous singers are so dangerous they they are going after the mind let's pray for God to raise up some sanctified singers in this next century God will use them mightily to bring change amen I said amen David changed the world not because of his preaching he did David never preached his music, Book of Psalms. We quote him more than anybody else, don't we? Power of music. May God give us a spirit of the media. Understand like he does. If you're here today and you need prayer, we're going to be up front here to pray with you. If you need to give your life to Jesus, our pastors will come now, please. And we'll be here to pray with you. We are here to serve you in the name of Jesus. I'd like to make an announcement to the uh, the reorganization consultative committee. We'll be contacting you this week. Everything is ready now. We're set to go. So we'll be asking uh, to meet with you sometime next week briefly. Uh, that God is positioning us to do some great things in the world. Amen. Thank you so much for staying a little bit longer. I know that we had a lot of things to share today in the media. I want to thank our media department. You guys did a great job uh, setting up everything. And we've heard a lot about media today. We understand a little bit better. We want to thank you. Matter of fact, let's give them a hand for their great work today. The media people. Pastor Allen, thank you very much. And uh, I know that Debbie Bartlett uh, was off trying to get back in town. I understand that she had a little delay this morning. But I know that she worked very closely with this group and the team. For things to happen. We we'll thank our nursery workers for their patience and uh, let us bow our heads and have a dismissal. And please remember that you are God's media to the world. If you need prayer for salvation, for sickness, for any kind of issues you want agreement in prayer, just come and get one of these elders to pray with you. And the Lord will bless you. I know He will. Amen. Let's bow our hearts together. Repeat after me Heavenly Father, you are holy, your name is holy. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth just like it is in heaven. And give us today everything we need to make bread. And forgive us for offending others. We forgive those who offended us. Keep us away from the evil one. Protect us from his evil principalities. For the kingdom is yours the glory and the power we give you for it you are our God thank you Lord lift your hands let's just give the king thanks we write to Bahamas Faith Ministries International or call the number on your screen and give the order number or log on to our website www.bfmmm.com